Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we are making a delicious banana pudding. Of course from bananas and other simple and available ingredients that we have. So to our ingredients we have, um, here we have two bananas. One is for garnishing and one we'll use in the recipe. So another ingredient is cashew nuts. Um, I did not soak them, but you can choose to soak them. We have rolled oats. Here we have dates. And finally, we have clean water. You can find the exact measurements in the description box below. So those are the only ingredients we need. So we'll begin by extracting milk from our cashew nuts and our oatmeal. This is a cheese net which we'll use to strain our milk. You can use a cheesecloth. And this is a whisk which we'll use uh, for the cooking process. I'm using a food processor. I've added my cashew nuts followed by my oats. So with this two, I'll extract a thick and creamy milk. Um, I'm adding my water. I use two and a half cups. And I'll blend this until very creamy. So I found um, the ingredients too light for the food processor. And so I, I switched to my blender. In fact, you can use a blender, by the way. So I used a blender and this is how the juice came out. It was very creamy. Guys, it was creamy. It was thick. It was very white. It resembled the cow's milk <laughs> in appearance. So I'm straining this and this is the residue which you can use for making some crackers or baking it with something. Here we have our milk, very white, very creamy. And so this milk, we will use it, we will not even wash our blender. I'm just putting the strains aside and into a blender because it's using the similar ingredients. I'm adding my sweeteners, which are my dates. And of course, banana pudding. So we'll need a banana. I'm adding my banana, just one banana, um, and followed by the milk. Look at how creamy it is. Um, this is just a good alternative for um, a plant-based milk. So I'm blending this together until creamy, until the dates are very uh, creamy. So this is how it's looking afterwards. What I'll do, I'll take the milk and transfer it to my sufuria. And this, we will heat it on low, medium low heat for about 10 minutes or until it thickens. So bananas are very rich in potassium. Potassium is very good for the heart. We have some cashews and oats which are very high in fiber and are um, good fats which are good for your heart. So here we are stirring on the fire. Um, stirring prevents it from sticking because it starts to thicken immediately. You start um, boiling it on the medium low heat. So this is the thickness you're looking for. This is actually after seven minutes. This is how it's looking and this is the thickness you want to look for before you can see that your mixture here is done. So I'll just put out my fire and allow it to cool a little before I put it on my bowl. So here it is cool for a little while, still uh, hot. I'm adding it to my bowl, then I'll allow it to cool. I'll have to sit it here it will oxidize a little, but only for the first layer. It is good to have uh, food that is hot to cool fast. You cannot uh, have them in the refrigerator when they are um, hot. This is afterwards. 
So I'm pouring my pudding in my glass. So I've begun with the pudding mixture. Then I'll follow with some slices of banana. And once this is done, I'll follow again with the pudding. And you can use various toppings. You can use some cashew nuts. You can use some chia seeds, some sesame seeds. Um, so just use a few cashews and bananas because already they're the same ingredients in the pudding so this is how it came out um this is a delicious recipe whenever you're eating it please eat it to the glory of god remember to be a channel of light wherever the lord has placed you because he depends on you if you like this recipe please give it a thumbs up I wish to hear from you what you think about this recipe. You can try it. Otherwise, bye.